I thought today we'd have a quick test to see uh, how long it takes to heat the actual bed um, with no insulation on it. So just very quickly play around and get the setting I want, which is files. Yeah, that'll do. Now we got the bed at 20. Okay, we've achieved 45 degrees. Now I'll just turn this off because I want it now to cool down. And the first part of the test is now done. We've uh, heated the bed up without any insulation, so we've got a time on it. I've got some uh, cotton um, sheets here. These are off AliExpress. They're 300 by 300. There's four in a pack. I'll be putting three of them underneath the heat bed and uh, redoing the, the heat test to see how long it takes. Um, and we'll find out in a few minutes. What I've done with the, um, the sheets is I've just simply put a bit of tape around them, held them all together. Uh, now what I'm expecting to do is pop holes through to match the actual heat bed itself. The center of the um, cotton mat is uh, going to be sitting over the bolts in here and I'm pretty certain that that'll push the plate up or the actual heat bed up as I say and push it up against the plate so I don't need any further adhesive. The boards are relatively stiff so again I'm pretty certain I don't need extra adhesive around the corners but if I do I'll add it later. Okay we just have to undo four little thumb screws and um, fit the bed to it so I'll do that. are out now and it's just a matter of disassembling the plate. I printed out the uh, strain relief for the heat bed earlier which is um, this little doobawacky here and uh, I have to cut a section of the uh, cotton out so that's where the um, strain relief is going to fit so I'll have to cut that little section out before I can fit the, uh, <laughs> the actual plate. Oh well, well try again and uh, that little piece cut out quite easy so we'll now get back to uh, fitting it and see what it looks like and uh, just popping the little strain relief in so it fits in there quite nicely so uh, we'll have a go and uh, fit it properly now yeah I've just got to finish doing up the uh, little knobs here I've got the heat bed sitting uh, nicely snug up against the uh, the cotton shield. Now the the actual shield itself should fit fairly flush against the uh, carriage plate so I'm not I don't think it's going to cause an issue. I'm hoping it's not going to uh, bow the plate but we'll find out soon enough once I finish uh, putting it all together. Yeah I'll be using the uh, little cable ties that came with the Creality kit. Now the uh, cable ties themselves have got a couple of little holes in the uh, strain relief mechanism at the back here so I'll be sliding that through and uh, putting it and putting them in nice and tight and that should stop the uh, hassle of uh, broken wires to a later date. Okay this time we're going to check to see how long the uh, heat bed takes to get to 45 degrees. We've got the uh, insulation in place now. Okay, we're on 45 now, so it's time to shut it down. Okay, the insulation is in place as you can see there. Fits in quite nice. And up the back here, the strain relief is fitted nicely as well. So it all goes together quite okay. 
So my thoughts about how the bed is going to be uh, held against the cotton uh, looks like it was right.